Hey guys, so here's a video on projection mapping. I'm just gonna teach you the basics. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna bring in a cube. Um, make sure you have your camera uh, set up too. And hold on, let me just position this like that. Okay, that's good. Um, so here, uh, from the camera view. Anyways, you don't have to do this in the camera view. You just have to subdivide at least once and we're gonna make sure we go to our camera view. Oops, sorry. Our camera view. And we're going to render the image because this is what we're gonna to use to paint um, on top of. So make sure you render your image out. Save as, uh, hold on. There we go, save as, and we can just name it um, YT22 and let me save that there okay also one thing i'm gonna do before i even start painting this out is yes make sure i so this is your i'm pretty sure when you projection map this should pop up at the bottom so we're gonna press u and then projection uh projection map from view it's so i already have this little thing here that's finding out where the box is from the view. That's about it. Anyways, so we're gonna paint the our image here. And for example, I'm not gonna paint too heavily on this, but you know, something fast. We're just gonna and you could bring this in whatever program you want. Anything like Clip Studio. All you need is to render the the image and you're good. Make sure you render the image from your camera view. That's all you need to do. And so I don't really care if I get the right uh, lighting and stuff. I'm just showing you pretty much uh, you know, the basics. Now that we have our box, okay, we're gonna make sure we save this. So export. Okay, so now we have it already saved. So now we're gonna bring it in here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to assign a new material. So we're gonna go to our materials. We're gonna click on the base color and we're just gonna set it to image texture. And when you set it to image texture, you just press open uh, because we're going to find where you saved your uh, painting. So there it is. And since I already have it selected and it's already projected from view, it's going to paint from the view, right? From the view of this camera. So it already mapped on all your color, but you're gonna see like uh, from the back side, it's starting to like just overlay or, or like overlap the texture that you painted from the back from the back view as well, because that's how you selected everything. You selected everything from the back as well. Now. If you wanted to do the back side of this, you would just set up the camera from the back side and do it from the back. Uh, you know, same thing, just go to your cameras over here. Uh, where is it? Yeah, right here. And then just go to camera and switch to this camera. So now every time you go to your camera setting or your render from camera view, it'll be fine. So yes, you know, and then you would paint this section out. So there you go. And then that's how I did this box here. So if I move this out of the way, that's how I did the, the box that's there. I just did it from the front or had one camera from the front and one camera in the back. And I got my uh, box to be, you know, the line to go across the box, however. All right, so now I'm gonna show you guys how to take it to the next step or think about the next step since you kind of know the gist of projection mapping. Okay, so one of the things I would do is like um, have a ground plane, you know, have your objects that you're going to have uh, that are kind of hard perspective wise, if you don't know much perspective. So have those in there. And so, yeah, this is how I started with my little robot guy that you see down here. And it's slowly like, you know, OK, now I was like, OK, let me render out some of the legs. So it, it was like a big transformation, as you can see, like look way better here put in some uh grass leaves and stuff like that plants and yeah so 
for each one of these, if I turn it on, you're going to see I have a camera angle from the front and the side for some of them. So yeah, I have a camera angle from the front, the side, and whatever, um, you know, how I'm going to be painting this, since I'm doing projection mapping from the view, I would have the camera wherever uh, angles I'm going to show and then repaint everything. And if you wanted to see, here it is. That's how these look, right? So stuff like that and you're gonna see from this side it's completely like messed up but that's because i don't have i didn't project from this view right i'm only projecting from the front view because that's the uh the angle that i wanted <clears throat> so yeah there's that pokemon one so i have the camera angle inside the pool right and um i have this top plane here for perspectives of the water line and I had some buildings in the background, but eventually I eliminated them and I have the, like this would be like some bush or fence line. So I just painted it green and blender and then I go from my camera angle and I render it and I didn't projection view it, but this is like another, uh, this is just using 3D primitives to help you draw. Uh, basically, if you wanted to, I could project from view and have that pro projection from view inside. So yeah, I have the camera set up, you know, I have the lighting in here because I'm also using the lighting, uh, you know, so you would set up your lighting as well and you could do many things and you could like erase the background from being viewed, in, you know, because Blender has this grayish background. So you just go to, uh, I believe your render settings, go to film and, oh yeah, yeah. My bad. So yeah, film transparent, and there you go. You eliminate the uh, the gray. Uh, so when you render from your camera view, all this will be empty. So you're just seeing the meshes. So that is helpful. Um, so yeah, find out stuff like that. Uh, get used to using all the lighting and you know using this technique to your advantage. Because you know I stylize like the the can and stuff like that, and I threw this all on there with projection view. Because as you can see, the back is messed up. And like I said, if you wanted to fix that just hide this right and throw a camera camera from the back here and then start painting the back side of things but since you're only seeing it from the front that's all you really need to do all right so have fun with projection mapping learn as much as possible and yeah make stuff all right guys bye